everybody this is Amy welcome 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 thanks for stopping by my channel today I'm going to show you how I paint a loose purple floral design on this glass wine bottle I hope you like it if you do make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel make sure before you leave you subscribe and hit that notification bell and share this video on your social network with all your family and friends just by hitting that share button below all right, let's get started. Today I'm going to be using a three-quarter inch Royal Aqualon filbert brush, three-quarter inch uh, flat brush by Plaid, and the number one liner brush also by Plaid. Using just a few paints today, I'm going to be using the Perfect Purple, the Red Violet, once again, my Fresh Foliage and Moon Yellow, Thicket of course, I don't do any florals without Thicket, and Wicker White. All of these are folk art paints. Some of them are enamels and some of them are multi-surface paints. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by using the Filbert brush to create my florals. And I'm going to try to keep them, they're big on my paper, so I'm going to try to keep them small. But we'll see because I am actually using a large brush. Anyways, very simple. Again, very loose. You're going to take your brush, kind of make a petal shape. And then I'm going to dip into the wicker white. Kind of keep just keep adding layers to it. Making a petal shape as I continue and I'm just going to keep working it like this you can make your petals bigger you can make a more petal shape I want to kind of leave some of them with an opening on the end and go like that all right we're going to just keep turning this make sure when you're working on glass that you clean your surface with soap and water you can then go over it with rubbing alcohol to make sure you have all of the uh, oils and debris off of your surface before you start painting so that you have the best adherence possible for your paint. The thicker you place the paint on, the more durable it will be. You also have to be careful though when you're putting it on thick that you don't put it on so thickly that when you bake it, it bubbles. So if you feel that's a possibility, and you'll get to know that as you paint, but if you feel that it's a possibility that you have put it on pretty, uh, pretty thickly, make sure you just go ahead and let it air dry. It'll fully cure within the 21 days. So that's one thing nice about this paint is that you don't actually have to bake it, but you have that as an option I'm under the understanding, and I could be wrong, but I have read this at some point throughout the years that baking it is possible that it actually makes it a little bit more durable, but I'm, I'm not 100% on that. So again, I don't know if that's just a theory or if that's a fact, but I have read that. And, you know, we have so much fake news in our lives right now that I never know what's, what's real and what's not. I'm sorry, my husband laughs very loudly, so if that happened to come through on the video, I apologize. I'm actually clear down in the basement. Again, we're just making petal shapes, just basic, very loose. This is a very loose painting, and it's meant to be, meant to be very easy, something that would be fun pretty and easy for a beginner painter and that is my intention now I am just going to do a couple of the big open flowers and then a couple buds to go along with it because my surface is small now I am just painting on what would be considered the front side of this bottle just for the purpose of the video 
if I were to paint this to sell or to keep, I would do the entire bottle. And chances are I would be adding lighting to it because I really like the lighted bottles. Very easy to make if you want to do them yourself. I also do sell them, but I think they're great. They great ambiance lights, relaxing, which a lot of us could use right now, and great night lights. Very nice night lights. Again, you can see how simple this is. You're just making basic strokes with this brush and turning it and making a flower. It's very loose and very intentional. And I'm trying to make these as five petal flowers. You can do them as four petals. You can do them open, closed, as buds. It's really up to you. And I'm also hearing my dog on the floor snoring. So if you're hearing her, sorry for that. But she's kind of a, a loud snorer. All right, we're going to turn this. I'm trying not to touch it. Try not to touch it. Try not to uh, hit it on the, uh, the table so I don't ruin the design. I'm notorious for that. If you've watched any of my other videos, I quite often stick my fingers in it or hit the table with it. Whatever. You got it. I do it. I should be called like the clumsy, the clumsy painter. The clumsy painter. Have you heard of her? Well, that's me. And you can make your petals different shapes too. You don't have to shape them like mine. This is just an idea to give you, give you a direction to go. If you paint my design though, I'd love for you to share it. Feel free to post it to my Facebook page. I do have that listed down below underneath the video. If you have any questions, I'm going to put some more paint on my palette here. If you have any questions, also direct this down below the video. I'd love to hear from you. Any, any comments, any suggestions on things to paint? I would appreciate that as well. I don't think this is really enough paint. I like the little tail here. Definitely open to suggestions. It's like when you do a lot of videos, you kind of get to a point where it's like, okay, now what do I do? And I'm trying to think of some other things that you might be interested in. You know, are you interested in seeing me paint on different objects? Because I know I do all mine on glass. You know, if you're interested in anything like that, you know, please let me know. I just, you know, anything that you're interested in, I'd like to keep keep you viewing me. All right, so then now what I'm going to do is come over here, and I want to do just a basic bud, but I want to have it to where it's kind of like it's hanging down, kind of drooping down a little bit. I'm not sure why I like that so much, but I do I like when the buds are just kind of hanging there, kind of drooping down. Hope you're all doing well. I know this is such a crazy time for everybody, and I feel for you. I am also on my Facebook page trying to do something a little bit different than what I normally do on my videos, and that's more with watercolors and, and drawing because there's a lot of ways to be very 
peaceful and such with drawing. I definitely think that's important right now, any time in your life really. I don't know if I feel like it's more important as I've aged to find something that actually gives me some peace. Alright, so here we go with that. And then I'm going to do, I think I, I normally don't do a whole lot. I do a lot of odd numbers in my designs. I'm going to probably try to keep these kind of small. They're a little bit bigger on my sample that I did on paper. And you'll see it in my um, my thumbnail. So as I do my paper one, I do my painting on paper before I do this and then when it comes time, actually I'm looking at this, I am kind of painting all the way around the bottle. Yeah, the buds really I don't even want to say they're buds because they're probably more partial bloom or like right before they start to bloom. You see how easy this is? You're just layering it and because you're layering it like this it's going to be a nice coverage as far as us being concerned about the durability. It's going to be a great coverage. All right, for the center, let me do these very quickly. I want this to be a two-hour video. I am tapping in the centers with this liner brush. Obviously, I have other tools that I can tap the center in with, but I'm using the liner brush just to do something a little bit different. Kind of stick into that loose theme and just tapping it in. See how I'm doing that? Just tapping it in very easy. When you're doing this you can have some of the openings in the leaves too. They don't have to be solid like I have an opening there. I think in a couple places. That's intentional. So now I'm going to go into the white. Kind of hit into that a little bit. And just, I guess that there's other ways to do it, but I feel like I'm doing my centers the same all the time. And this is easy. Anybody can do this. You can tap a brush. You can hold a brush in your hand. You can do this design. And you could do it as dots, too, if you wanted to. I'm not really trying to do it as dots. I'm just doing it just by tapping in the different colors. And I'm just using the two. You can leave some openings if you wish. And if you feel like you don't have it, have it uh, you know, like the colors arranged the way you want them, you can actually let this dry a little bit and then come back in and tap some more or tap another color in if you feel like you want to do that. But I'm just going to leave it just like that. I'm happy with it. And then I am going to move on to putting in my greenery, which is my favorite part. Alright, so I'm taking the flat brush, which is the three-quarter flat brush, and I'm basically, I'm, I guess, double loading it, but I'm actually triple loading it because I'm tagging into some of the yellow. Don't have to do that. I can vary, you know, kind of vary it a little bit if I want. I am going to start here pulling in my stems and just kind of hooking these babies together a little bit. And see, so I'm going to go like this, hook these together. And we can kind of come down here, pull a stem down at the bottom. Or if you want to just go around it and put in leaves and not really even pretend you have a stem, that's fine too. You can just you know, leave it at that. But I'm going to pretend that I have stems here. I'm going to take, I got a little bit of purple in here, which is fine. I'm not giving any drying time to this. I'm not hitting it, 
hitting this design at all with a hair dryer or heat gun. I'm just going to pull in the colors, kind of pull it out like that, pull it out like that, just little, little easy thin leaves. I'm just making it very simple, guys, very simple. I can pull that out even more here. Just a few little pieces. I can pull a little bit more if I want to make it look kind of like a stem or, you know, like a just a filler, really. Or I can leave the stem bare either way. Oh, uh, let's see, down here. Try to think what else I could do. Okay, let's go over here to these. And I am, sorry, here this plate's kind of in my way. Basically going to just do my little pulls. Put a little one up the center here. I can make it bigger if I want. Or keep it small. And that's, I think I, you know, like it like this. It's fine. I'm going to kind of cover that up a little bit and then do just some basic pulls with the leaves they don't have to be any certain direction or length style whatever however you want they're just meant to be just real simple simple leaves and let me go back this way here with that one a little bit and come back up my stem if I feel like I need to put that in better and I got a little purple on there. If I need to color it in a little bit more and go over that cover up that cover up that purple that came off. So again I'm just going down here kind of pulling up a leaf on the side. Do another pull up here and then like that. It's very quick and easy, very simple, doesn't have to be elaborate by any means, it's fine. These are just meant to be just quick, easy pull, pulls on there. They can even overlap a little bit if you want them to. Again, just keeping it simple. Now I could just come on here and do this. Oh, I like these kind of leaves where you kind of double stroke them and just pull in a stem. I'm trying to think where else to get all those covered. Okay, it looks like I did. Alright, so what I'm going to do then is come up here, pull a leaf up, and then I'm going to do a double pull on it. See how you can do that? kind of gives it a like it has a line in the center already by doing it this way. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to have some green on the top. Come back through. Make it a double again. And then pull a little line to it. Very simple. Very, very simple. And let's come around here. Do another one up here. Sorry. I'm trying to get you on here. Pull. So I'm going to make sure I'm going the right direction here with it. Pull again. And I can put a little line in here to touch it. Pretty easy. You can do two. You can do one. I can come in here and do one if I want. I think I'm going to leave that bare. Let's come over here and do one. Let's do I got the lighter green showing there. And then I'm going to come through here again with the light and go like that. Or I could turn it and go like that. Either way. Whichever way you want to do it, it's fine. Let's go ahead and do another one. And I'm going to do yet another pull. And just kind of bring this little stem down just very lightly. And I can even pull like that just to give it you know, like it's not just kind of stuck there or stopped. See that? Alright, let me look here. I might be able to do that up here. Kind of gives it, it's a little filler in a sense. 
but I like it. I think I'm going to stop with that, that. Just keep it simple. Keep it simple. All right, I hope you like this. And once again, if you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would appreciate it. Questions, comments, please put those down below. And I hope you stay safe and healthy. Until the next video, you have a good one.